Hello guys, how's everybody doing? This is Phyllis. Well, I don't have a haul to get today and I'm not doing a live stream today, which I will be doing hopefully this weekend. But right now, I thought it's time that I make a video just to give you guys a little update on where I have been this past week. It's been a week since I actually been on YouTube. And the reason why is for, there. I think there's more than one reason. One reason is this, I, I will put her description, her channel in the description. I have started this challenge and guys, I call her lock. But anyway, I met her recently about a couple, about a month ago and I really like her channel. You guys know I love positive channels. Um, and she has, she has started this challenge. It's a seven day challenge, uh, hashtag. Be fit, but I put the correct uh, link in her channel in the description. But Locke has started this thing along with her sister, uh, seven days of no sugar and no salt. I don't have high blood pressure, nor am I diabetic, but I like the fact of um, going this week challenge with her because I know the dangers of sugar in our bodies and I know the dangers of salt. So if you have high blood pressure or if you're like me, trying to avoid sugar, especially white sugar, this may be a challenge. Uh, like I've said in my previous videos, I know research has shown, doctors have proven this over and over, that it takes at least 21 days for, the, for your body to get used to form a new habit. And so hopefully, with this seven days will be a jump start for me because sugar, you heard me say it over and over and over and over again, is my demon food. We all have demons. Sugar is my demon food. Salt isn't, but uh, we can always eliminate salt from my diet. So I started yesterday and I fixed some chicken strips, some breasts. And guys, I had to put all type of season on this chicken because... It was different not having salt, adding salt to my food. And I know how harmful too much sodium can be. So, and my husband's also doing the challenge with me. So we're gonna have for seven days, no salt and no sugar. I'm not talking about hidden sugar in foods. I mean, actually sugar, white sugar in our coffee. I'm gonna do no cakes and no pies and no cookies. So this is day two. And I promised Locke that I will do a video, let you guys know that I'm, I'm in for the challenge. And guys, it's about being fit. That's the first thing. The second thing, I've also did a, a fast. It's not a food fast, it's a social media fast. Um, because I have really been looking at a lot of people's videos and, and I love still being a YouTuber. I am a YouTuber and I'm a creator. I'm a YouTube creator. I'm creating my passion, what I like doing here. But guys, I'm seeing that this thing is really getting out of control. Some people actually using it live stream to bash each other, to criticize each other. I'm not for that. I'm not down with that. I'm okay with a good, um, healthy disagreement, but for no reason will I ever use my channel to bash anyone. Uh, like I've always said, we all have enough in our personal lives to, to get on social media and be bad, bashed. So, but I'm, I'm not oblivious to the fact that there are trolls here, there are haters. And I also know that you just can't do sub for sub. I don't care how you word it. Uh, if people are not coming back to your channel because they like your content, then you have missed the boat. It is about creating content that will make people want to come back to your channel. Now, guys, we all know that everybody's not going to like you. We get that. And there's someone, there's an audience, and I keep telling you guys for everybody, and I keep sharing this with you all, that's one-seventh of the world's population is on uh, social media and YouTube and all the other gamuts. So there's enough to go around. But please, guys, let's try not to hurt each other, bash each other, because I think it's becoming a doggy dog world out here. I'm noticing 
So I've taken a break this past week just to go watch videos. Uh, and I'm watching. Don't get caught in a trap, guys. Please don't. Remember to stay focused as to why you came here in the first place. And remember, some of these people are just following us for the loaves and the fishes. I'm not crazy. I know that. And I will continue to do my network Sundays because I want you to meet new fellow creators and, and YouTubers so we can get to know each other. But at the same time, don't be blindsided as to why you're here. Stay focused, guys. And remember, everybody's not going to like you. And everybody's not going to be able to say whatever, subscribe and support you. Whatever. And everybody's not going to like your content, and that's fine. But we keep trying to avoid this. If you help me, I help you. But you can phrase that any way you want to phrase it. But if people are not coming back because they like your content, then they're not going to stay. So let's stop running after the numbers at the expense of each other's uh, channel. Or, or we're in competition with each other. We don't have to be in competition with each other, guys. There's enough to go around. Let's continue to have a good time. Let's continue to create. And let's stop bashing and just stay focused on why we're here. And let's have a good time. Uh, and stay true. Don't stop doing your hauls if that's what you like to do. Don't stop showing your babies or your children or your pets or whatever you do. Just stay true to your vision and your mission, whatever that is. If you're here just solely to have fun, that's fine. If you're here to make money, you need to learn as much as you can about the business and how it works and to navigate, how to navigate, how to utilize all the tools available to you if that's what you want to do. But remember, you are awesome by yourself. You don't need anyone to keep telling you how awesome you are, how wonderful you are. You are unique. You have something to say. Everybody has a story. So tell your story and tell it in your truth. And just keep putting your videos out there, what you're passionate about, and just be yourself and be real. And sometimes, guys, don't just, like I keep telling you guys, don't just pick people that look like you or talk like you or act like you or do everything you do. Step outside of your box. Leave your comfort zone. That's the best way to grow your channel is just to be honest and truthful and be passionate about what you do and don't be distracted by all the naysayers and negatives and the them and the they them and they and the naysayers in the long run don't count at all. What really matters is that you're here doing what you want to do solely for your own benefit, not for anyone else. So guys, stay focused. And remember, when you go to these live streams, if they're about the three things we're going to stop, we're going to stop looking, we're going to stop doing, we're going to stop begging, we're going to stop bragging, and we're going to stop boasting. We're just going to be who we are and to be generous and gracious with our uh, information and what we have to share. Because I keep telling you, if you clench your fist and you don't open your hand to receive and to give, you won't get your blessing. Because you can follow the numbers and, and, and channel search and channel hop and hashtag hop and from here to there, from pillar to post. It won't mean anything in the long run. And so if someone's asking them you to uh, bragging for your support uh, and bragging about their numbers, then they're not the one. So let's just stay focused, guys. Let's have a good time. So remember, don't sweat the small stuff. I live by that phrase because in the long run, it's all small stuff. And if you can, join me on that seven-day challenge. No sugar and no salt. And hopefully see you guys on Sunday when we can meet some new friends. Take care. Bye-bye.